Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves from Jonathan Reeves CAD here and today we're going to be looking at another Vectorwitz 2025 sneak peek of an amazing feature that's coming up. So today we're going to be looking at two point perspective and to do this I'm going to revisit a project that I did many years ago which was Woods Wharf, the next stage of the Canary Wharf, uh, I worked on the master plan and all of this was modelled in Vectorworks, believe it or not, back in around 2004. So this was how Vectorworks was modelling uh, back then. I've done a few uh, little improvements with things like some textures and things, but I thought this would make a really great example of showing you how to benefit from two-point perspective within Vectorworks. So just a bit about the project itself, it's a really fascinating project. You can see that we've got Canary Wharf here and the surrounding existing commercial development. And basically we were looking at the master plan for this whole area here, which was mainly residential. So what we've done is kind of modeled up some of uh, the buildings in block form, and this enabled us to get some sort of snapshots of the floor areas and things like that. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial and let me show you this amazing new feature for two point perspective. So just to start the process, I'm going to go to my save views, which I prepared. And I've got a couple of little save views, which I'm going to use to navigate down to eye level to show you the benefit of two point perspective. So let's get down more to the eye level view. Here you can see down looking over the park. Um, this is actually the ventilation tower for the uh, one of the underground stations in London, hence this is there. Okay, so here we are down at ground level and you can see that as we kind of move around, we're getting that perspective in the model and the more pronounced it is, uh, you know, sometimes the model looks uh, quite strange indeed. So if you do want to turn off perspective correction, all you need to do is activate it from set custom perspective here and with a single click you can see that all the verticals are totally vertical now. Now the great thing is that actually stays when I'm in my walkthrough tool. So if we kind of walk through rather nicely here, you can see all of those verticals are staying perfectly vertical. So here I've just got some really nice little save views actually and I'll just show you how this works if you do want to take advantage of this lovely animation feature within Vectorworks. It's a very nice additional feature that you can show you. So here's my fourth position. Let's move through to one more position. So I'm going to use my walkthrough tool which is the uh, walkthrough tool from the visualization palette here. Let's just sort of walk up this kind of like uh, area here a little bit. And when I'm ready, all I need to do is click new and let's do space A5. Now you'll notice that if I transition between A4 and A5, it's quite rapid. But all I need to do if I want to put a timer in there is basically select both images, right click and then click edit. And then over here, I can select the type of preference custom for the transition and the amount of time. So let's put five seconds in. So now when I transition from view four, to view five, I should have a really nice five second transition. You'll see it's really nice and smooth. So view transitions in Vectorwiz are just brilliant. Now let's have one to look at this perspective again. So when I kind of get a view that's kind of like quite sort of um, that's oblique, should we say, you'll notice the perspective correction is a little bit extreme. So let's see how this would work with two point perspective and suddenly everything gets straightened out. It looks really, really cool. So this is a kind of more akin to an architectural photography type view. And obviously if you were doing sort of very high quality renderings and things like this, this two point perspective mode is just amazing as well. So I really uh, enjoy this new mode for two point perspective. It's quite subtle, you know, it does make a difference. And one really cool feature here is if you go up to the view menu, go down to projection and then do set custom perspective. A really nice little menu pops up here that you can actually use to zoom in very, very dramatically within the view. So let's sort of pan that around and basically zoom in and out quite dramatically within the two point perspective. So basically you're able to set specific distances here. So 10 looks really good and that's cool. Now don't forget we've also got our wonderful uh, navigation tool here, the on-screen view controls. So of course this works really, really well with the perspective mode on or off as well. So very, very nice additional feature there. And you can just basically turn off two-point perspective with a single click and just revert back as normal. So I hope you've enjoyed this little kind of explanation of what two-point perspective is all about. It does allow you to create some really fantastic renderings. So of course, if I want to enable that, let me just do it one more time. 
Let's enable my two point perspective. That straightens everything out. And now I can basically create a viewport. So let's go ahead and create a viewport onto a sheet layer. And let's just go for it. It's quite a big model this one, as you can see, there's a lot of information here. Okay, so let's call this 04, let's call this two point. And we'll click edit properties after creation, of course. Always increase the DPI of your renderings to about 300. And let's not bother with the drawing label. So we're going to click OK and we should have that view beautifully framed. So let's just come out of dark mode for a minute and you'll see that lovely view. Now that's only semi-rendered at the moment so don't forget to click the update button. That's when things like reflections and shadows and ambient occlusion kick in. This preview render you get is actually pretty good uh, but not as good as the final rendering as well. So a couple of other cool things that I've always really enjoyed with uh, Vectorworks is just modeling up these sort of tall buildings. So if you're interested, I've done a couple of tutorials on how to model really kind of tall buildings like this in no time at all. So do check out those on the channel. Uh, this would have the kind of selection of those tall buildings that I modeled up for another tutorial there as well. And one final thing I wanted to mention is if I go to my save views, I've actually got some really nice twin motion views that I created off this particular project. So if you're interested, this is what twin motion can do to take your renderings to a whole nother level. Check out the videos on my channel for that as well. So just to finish off then, what do you think of the amazing two point perspective mode in Vectorworks 2025 that's coming up soon? It's really as easy as enabling it with a single click. Basically go to set custom view, turn it on, or turn it off depending on the view you require and the kind of renderings you're looking to create it can have quite a big impact so let's just kind of like do a view like this for example look at these verticals they're really leaning out if you don't want that in your renderings just turn on the two-point perspective and everything looks really really nice you might need to adjust the view a bit to get the optimum view but overall I'm very very impressed with two-point perspective now in Vectorworks and available in our viewports as well so thanks for watching everybody. I really look forward to seeing you in the next videos. I'll be making loads more videos for the channel soon. So do make sure if you are new around here, you hit that like and subscribe button and don't miss our amazing 50% off Vectorworks until September the 9th if you're watching this video before then. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye bye.